How are you clicked on to today's tropical tidbit for Sunday over here in the Atlantic? Irene has moved out of the screen up here in New England and we'll show you her in a minute. What else is going on in the Atlantic? Well, this tropical storm Jose got named by the Hurricane Center. This is a six hour miracle is what this is already dead basically moving north. Bermuda will not even know that this is here. They have a tropical storm warning. They won't know that this exists. They'll probably look at the warning and see that it's already gone and wonder what happened because this is not going to do very much to them at all. Maybe some gusty winds over 30 miles per hour and that's nothing unusual for Bermuda when there are thunderstorms around. So not really concerned here. That's dead. Another completely thrown away name for this little swirl out here probably. This I believe is what's left to Tropical Depression 10. I could be wrong, but this is still spinning around up here. Not going to do a whole lot. Probably not going to redevelop if it does. We'll see if the Hurricane Center wants to name it if enough thunderstorm activity is back near it, but we'll see how that goes. And now we move up to Irene. The center now moving inland over New England and moved right up the Jersey coast into western Long Island last night. As we said it would, moving up now, the NHC did downgrade her to a tropical storm and she's now down to 60 mile per hour sustained winds. Still 966 millibars even moving inland here and a very low very low pressure. I kind of expect her to maintain minimal hurricane status from the hurricane center with the pressure that low, but they have downgraded her in here. We'll see if wind reports later today contradict that, but for now we're talking mostly about the water with her. This massive cloud shield developing a whole lot of rain in here, flooding lots of things. The storm surge came out of the south on the east side of the center, did flood parts of lower Manhattan in here, and we've seen reports of flooded streets and breaches of boardwalks and stuff from the storm surge coming up out of the south and we've had all sorts of issues in the harbors around here on the news this morning as well. This is the radar out of Manhattan and we can see a whole lot of rain over here. This doesn't even cover all of it up into New England in here. This is the long range radar to try to get a better picture of the storm. One radar doesn't cover this thing showing a whole there's a whole lot of rain all through this region here extending down still into northern Maryland a whole band of it up in here. We have the center of our lean now moving up into western Connecticut and we can see things starting to dry out as the southern side of the storm has been completely overtaken with dry air and we've been seeing some strong bands moving up into um, Massachusetts and southeast New York State and those will continue moving northward with time and the storm is weakening so winds are going to become less of an issue but we've seen the ground get so saturated that all these heavy trees can't get held by the soil and so they start falling down and we've heard uh, stuff about trees falling on houses and all sorts of stuff in here. So we'll see what kind of damages come out of here today. Hopefully they are less than expected. We have seen a lot of river flooding developing and forecasted. These are the observed and forecasted river conditions. You can see a lot of purple, red, and orange showing up, all showing flood stage. Over here we will see a lot more of those colors pop up over the coming days as these rivers start to flood. New Jersey has had amazing rain amounts of up to 10 inches in many places and we're gonna, going to see rainfall in excess of six inches all through these areas up in here and these are going to cause some major flooding issues both flash flooding and river flooding not to mention the storm surge so this is a big time water storm for New England in here there's there's some definitely some wind damages especially as I mentioned with the trees which is directly related to the water so she will probably be remembered mostly for water damage up in New England and farther south wind damage did <clears throat> some more than it's doing up here but overall still a very damaging storm We'll see how much damage comes out of this, but hopefully it is less than it could have been. This is definitely a storm that will be remembered at the eastern seaboard. And now if we, we now as though it will take a few days to get over Irene up in the northeast, we'll be talking about it for a while still. As a forecaster, we can start moving on to other things in the tropics now. We're looking at, here's again what I think is old tropical depression 10. We have another tropical wave coming off of Africa. This is looking pretty good. Forecasted to develop by most of the models again here and this will be moving westward and west northwest over the next few days. This is going to be our next concern for looking out farther west here. This is the European day 10 has consistently developed this into a major in the southwest Atlantic. <clears throat> this is up at 25 north 70 west about and this is a little bit too far southwest for comfort here.
and it's already starting to try to move northwest at this point on this run but it is a little bit too close for comfort and you can see that the jet stream pattern north of it is still fairly benign we don't really have a big trough diving into the east to take this out so there is still the problem of having the ridge over the Atlantic the ridge just west of Texas the break is in between over the southeast United States which means that depending on how this develops and how far south if the storm is coming in from far enough south we could still get it into the southeast United States but we'll have to see we're going to be watching for how fast it develops chances are the way it looks right now if it develops very quickly then we're going to have less of a chance of it making it to land before we're trying to recurve out but still you can see the break in the ridge is over the land so we could have storms trying to take advantage of that again as Irene just did this is the GFS ensembles day 7 500 millibar mean heights and anomalies we can see anomalous ridging in orange colors here over southeast Canada and New England in at day seven the storm is back here east of the Antilles you can see it's going to continue try coming west northwest and then day nine you can see a little bit of a trough tries to come through here and the storm is starting to move northwest but look at all this blue up in Alaska in the Gulf of Alaska lots of troughing is going to tend to pump the heights and the ridging over southern Canada which means this trough isn't going to try to dig very deep and is going to lift out as most of other troughs have this year in the northwestern Atlantic and indeed by day 11 you can see the anomalous ridging showing up again north of this area and the storm the ensembles have it anywhere from Florida into here by this time trying to recurve up towards Bermuda so there's a spread here and then <clears throat> if I were to show day 15 you would see a massive core of above normal heights over southern Canada and the northern US a pattern that we've talked about for August and September the peak of the season that was developing in all of the analog years that we forecasted to develop this year and help bring more storms into land and result in more US landfalls this season in Irene may be far from the only one we get and it will depend on whether this wave actually gets there we have to see it develop first and if it develops very fast chances are it will try to recurve out east of the United States but if it waits a while and develops farther south we could have it come in just like Irene under this pattern that does tend to bring storms towards the US coast if they're coming in from far enough south so we will keep an eye on this back up way way out here long way out nothing to worry about right now but we will we will be keeping an eye on the tropics and there's also been hints that we may have some homegrown mischief in here in the seven to ten day period as well with the cutoff up or low we will dive into that more as time goes on as well all right that's it for today thanks for watching